In today's video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate a cute and simple Easter themed cake. I'm starting off with an eight inch tier that I've already frosted and now I'm going in with my uh, cake comb and I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture around the sides. So just hold it right up against the cake. Okay, we'll just take it all the way around. Okay, and I think that looks good, but you could always, if you have some spots that are not quite smooth, you can go back in and add just a little bit more frosting in those areas. Let's try again. Okay, so now I'm just going to chill the cake in a freezer for about 10 or 15 minutes till the frosting is firm and then we're going to go in with some colorful buttercream for our stripes. Okay, so our cake is fresh from the freezer and it's nice and firm and now I'm just cleaning up the top edge. I had some excess frosting that is up a little bit higher than the edge, so I'm just taking a sharp knife and just slicing that away. Or if your frosting was soft and you wanted to clean up the edge, you could just use a spatula. I do that sometimes also. I'll just take that excess and spread it towards the center and then up and off of the cake. So either way, but I'm just gonna try to get a pretty clean, pretty clean edge. I'm going to just leave it kind of messy looking on top because I'm gonna cover it with uh, the Easter grass. So we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to grab my colors. I have some pastel buttercream here. And so I have the pink, yellow, green, and blue. And I just have these loaded and disposable piping bags. And I'm going to snip the end away. But if you wanted to load it with a piping tip, you could use a uh, 10 or 12 round tip and that would work well. So I'm just gonna snip away and try to do about the same. Okay, so it snipped away probably about a half inch. And I'm gonna go ahead and start. By the way, my cake is on its own cardboard cake circle cut to the size of the cake, or just slightly smaller. And that's so that later we can chill the cake and then firm it up and easily move it to the pedestal. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pipe on stripes. And my stripes are just gonna go halfway up the cake, so I want to build them out. So I'm gonna apply steady pressure as I Turn it on the turntable. Okay, I'm just going to build it out a little bit more. You want to build it out enough that when you go in with your bench scraper to smooth it out, you're not going to hit the white frosting. So I'm going over this a couple of times. Okay, now I'm adding the yellow buttercream right on top of the blue. And this is not gonna be completely exact when we go and smooth it out. It's, it's not gonna be as exact as some of our other videos where we do stripes with a, um, a comb and then fill in. This is more just of a, a freehand type of thing. Okay, I'm just going over it one row on top of the other until it seems like it's built out enough so that when I go in and smooth it, it won't hit the white. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go in, oof. I'm gonna go in with my bench scraper and I'm just gonna con be in contact with the colored frosting as I smooth it. Thank you. 
Okay, so I think now we are ready to chill it once again so that I can move it to the pedestal and we'll start working on the top of the cake. Okay, so now it's time for the bunny. As you can see, I have a chocolate bunny here and I liked the size of this bunny. It's just a nice sort of medium sized bunny. What I like the most is that it's thick enough that it can stand up on its own. And I'm just going to start off by painting the inside of the ear light pink. So I'm doing that with a mixture of pink and white coloring gel and just a little bit of vodka. And the vodka creates a paint that is going to be fast drying. So that's why I'm using the vodka or Everclear in this case, but vodka would work also. Um, so just paint that on. And even that I think looks pretty if you wanted sort of uh, a more elegant look, but I wanted to cover the bunny in fur. So I'm just using my grass tip or uh, fur tip. And this is uh, a tip 233. And I'm just gonna cover the entire bunny with the buttercream. I'm holding the bottom of the bunny. And so I'm going to pipe everything in buttercream except for that bottom section of the chocolate bunny. Uh, for the bottom section, we're just gonna take care of that once it's on top of the cake. That way we don't have to worry about accidentally crushing the buttercream or making a mess when it's time to move it to the cake. Okay, so I've just sped up the video. I think you get the idea, it's just a lot of piping. And um, I'm also decorating the back, doing the same thing on the back. And that's it. So we're just gonna cover it with piping. If at any time the chocolate begins to get a little bit soft, of course you can put it in the freezer for five minutes or in the refrigerator for longer. And once your buttercream is crusted, you can even tap down some of the little areas that need tapping down if you'd like to, just to sort of neaten things up. Like right here, I just have a dry paintbrush and I'm just kind of tapping down some of the spots that are sticking out a little bit too much. Okay, so I have covered the top of the cake with edible Easter grass. We break this out every year. Um, it's just a great for a quick covering on top of an Easter cake. And if you don't have edible Easter grass um, at your stores nearby, you could always just pipe buttercream grass and that would be pretty also. So I've just placed the bunny on top of the cake. I probably should have anchored him with a little bit of buttercream, um, so you might want to do that when it's time to stick him on top. And now, as I had mentioned before, you can see there's a, a little bare space at the base of the bunny. So I'm just going to fill that in with our buttercream. And then I have some extra piping that I added for the bunny's tail, just so it will stick out a little bit more. Okay, so our cute little bunny is almost finished. I did add sprinkle eyes and a nose using a black sprinkle and a pink sprinkle. You could also use buttercream pipe from a round piping tip if you'd like to. And one thing that is not on camera, but you'll see it in my final picture is I did attach a little ribbon bow to the bunny's neck. And I did that uh, with just a little dot of buttercream for extra color. And I'm also adding chocolate eggs to the top for a little extra color also. Okay, so our cake is finished. I think it turned out really cute. I love the bunny on top. And as you saw, it's really easy to make. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.